Hello and welcome to the Tarka Zone. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be doing another exercise workout edition today. Haven't done a video in a, in a week or two. I wanted you to get used to the exercises that I presented in the previous vet, uh, videos before I did this one. So now that you've been either walking up and down your stairs or you've been on your treadmill, it's time to incorporate one of these exercise balls. Now, as you can see, mine's a little um, on the light side. I like it soft. It uh, allows me for more flexion uh, in my sit-up routine. Uh, the firmer it is, um, it also works a little harder on your back. And I have and I have mentioned this in previous videos that I am trying to work out to mitigate lower back uh, pain that I have. So this exercise ball really helps me out when it comes to mitigating pain while doing the workout. Because if you're on the ground, this is you know you're on the hard ground and you're just flexing you know on on your on your bum here, it, it's it hurts the lower back. It really does. And the other thing about being on the ground, when you come back, when you're going back to come to the ground, obviously your shoulders stop at the ground and you're not getting an over flex. Well, with the exercise ball, you do. So you get a better workout. Now, some people will say, well, that's just a lazy way of doing it. And actually, I have found that using an exercise ball and doing this, the setup, this setup routine I'm going to show you has firmed me up better than if I had just been doing them on the ground. And this is just from, you know, remembering back in my youth when I used to do them. I know how quickly I used to lose weight, build muscle when I was a kid. And obviously I'm a, a, a lot older now, so you would think that would be harder for me to do is get into shape. Well, with this ball, I found that, boom, my core is just getting firm. So without talking more about me, I'm gonna show you the exercises that I do. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is sit on the ball and I'm gonna to try to get comfortable. And that's the key with this, is you wanna be comfortable. And that's all you're gonna do is, you know, roll a little forward, just a, a little forward, you know? See how I'm leaning forward now? Okay. And then lean back. So now your shoulders, my shoulders should almost, my shoulder blades should be almost touching the, the ball now. Okay, so they are now. See how I flexed back? further than if I was on the ground, I am working, just by sitting here, I am working the stomach muscles. And then what you do is you move up. And that's really it. Go slow, like, like I said in my other videos, there's no point in trying to rush this. Because the slower you go, the more workout you'll get in your core. All right, and really this is the basic mechanics of it. Now, you might not be used to sit-ups and you might only be able to do two or three of these gems, that's fine. Do as many as you possibly can and then the next day do as many as you possibly can. You don't need to do it until your stomach is in so much pain that you don't want to you don't want to eat. Just do it until it becomes very uh, uncomfortable that you, you felt the strain and then go on with your day and just try to do it again the next day. Now, there are people that will argue that you should, you know, take a, a day in between. Well, I found with my research when it comes to stomach muscles, you can work your stomach muscles every day. There's no harm to working them out every day. Whereas if I'm trying to do arm muscles with heavy weights, I should give it a day off to repair itself. And then, so it's every other day with heavy weights. But what I, my research I found with uh, sit-ups, you can just keep on doing them. If, if you can get them in your schedule, then just keep on doing them, you know? So the thing you wanna do after you get used to this, maybe after a few days of just doing this basic motion, is to rotate like this in the workout. So what you'll do is you do one normal, okay? Then you come back down and then you, you take this, try to take this elbow and go all the way to here. See how I'm bringing this elbow to this knee? Go back down and do the same thing on the other side, okay? Then go back to normal, go back down 
Go back down. Remember, remember to breathe while you're doing this. Now this ro rotation is a little bit harder than just the the big, the, the, first, the what I'm about to do now, the first thing. So you need to judge it for yourself what's gonna work for you. But if you do what I just showed you, you can work your core and you can get it firm. And I have noticed that my back, it's mitigated a little bit, but I'm hoping that, you know, just normal walking around because I'm firming up my muscles, I'm hoping that the more I firm these muscles, the, the lesser pain events that I'll have. So, you know, you know I'm thinking an, ex ball, an exercise ball could be your best friend here. And you on Amazon right now, I think they sell for about between 13 bucks and 15 bucks. You can get a nice one and that's it. That's your full investment. And it will save your back, especially if you're doing them on the ground right now. Now, if you're doing them on a mat on the ground, okay, I've done that. That's okay, but I still feel you get a better exercise when you're using this ball. All right, well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.